All right. Welcome to another unboxing video. This time we're unboxing the PlayStation VR 2. Uh, I just got it today. Let's see. Well, I was going to open it. I thought I cut it. So apparently there's another uh, sticker that's sealing it. So give me a quick second and find a knife. So this is the Kershaw. Uh, Kershaw Blur. Let's give it a... There we go. Not using a tripod or anything. Okay. So let's see. So I got this for what? 650 bucks from the PlayStation Direct. Uh, looks like this is just a a cover for the box so I'll take this out I'm only using one hand though so give me a second okay so it comes out like this and again there's another sticker oh look at that I didn't even see that the first time the triangle circle x square so that's pretty cool so there's another sticker that needs to be removed there's my blade There we go. Trying to be careful not to cut myself. Right okay. Alright. So it comes out like this. Pretty sure that's the top of the headset. So that's good. Because I, I did have a PlayStation VR 1. Okay. So when you open the little box. It comes out like this. Looks like there's a, this is probably code, let's see, yeah, so I can show you guys these. So it comes like that, you scratch uh, for the pin number, and you put the code in. We'll put that aside, I'm actually not interested in that game, but it could be good, I don't know. Some literature, instructions manual, I don't care about that, actually I'll leave that here, okay. Um, so the little earpiece that comes with the, for the PSVR, hmm, it's pretty cool. So it's kind of similar to the first one. This looks nicer though. Uh, looks like it, it jacks in with a 3.5 millimeter jack. Oh no, there's another one for, on the other side. Oh wait, no, that's just, that's just, uh. A plunge or yeah an attachment so it attaches properly onto the onto the headset okay next we have hmm type C USB I wonder what it's for it can't be for charging this it's too short so that's odd this is really short maybe three feet cable okay Let's put that aside. Okay, so now we have power cable maybe? Let's see. Another USB C. Hmm. That is odd. I was thinking um it would come with a brick. You know, like if you if you've ever had the PlayStation uh PSVR, the first one, it came with a brick. So I'm not seeing a brick here. So it's just the headset. So I guess all everything else is go, gonna come from the the PlayStation Five, unless uh, it's inside the headset itself. Uh, we'll put aside the headset. So that's the headset. I'm guessing this is the. You have to plug this in in your in the PlayStation Five. This one's a fairly long cord, maybe ten foot cord, or it could be longer. We'll we'll have to see. Okay. Oh, this feels like like an egg crate of some sort. So it's pretty cool. I, I'll use this as a holder to store my uh, PSVR two. Uh, these are the controllers. So from the reviews I've seen, or like what people posted on like Facebook or Twitter, 
they're complaining about the right controller for some odd reason. So there's some, some issue with the right controller. I don't know if that's factual or not, but I'll, I'll figure it out once uh, I, I boot this up. So let's see which part. Looks like this is the left controller. Okay, so kind of reminds me of like the Vive controller. I think it had like a circular thing. So this looks cool. I think this is for like uh, six axis type controls or something. Uh, I wonder if you need a camera for this thing. Hmm. I have no information or I don't know anything about the PSVR 2. I just bought it because it's PlayStation. So buy everything PlayStation, right? Let's see. So there's um, L1 is here. Weird. So, I wonder how you control it. Do you use this right trigger or, hmm. Yeah, I guess you use this, your middle finger to press this button. You press this with your thumb, triangle and square. Wait, triangle and square is it here? That is odd. Left stick, uh, I'm guessing that's the share button. Uh, PlayStation button, and it, it is clickable or pressable mm. not seeing anything else uh, I guess that's what you charge it for uh, with uh, that short USB cord so USB type C so that's what it is oh it's still it's still those uh, X's and squares you see that yeah, that's cool that's cool so it feels nice in the hand Let's see, how does this look? This one doesn't have the square and axis. Feels feels nice in the hand though. There is a strap. So there's a strap right there. It does say L for left. Here's the thumbstick. It looks durable. Here's the L2 button. Let's see, I'm trying to focus. It looks nice. But it doesn't have those uh, X's, X's and squares or whatever you call it. So that looks cool. Let's see if there's any difference with uh, the right controller. This one, this with the the right controller, circle and X, circle and X. That's kind of weird. Uh, so right trigger, R two button. So where's R one then? Oh R one, L one. Let me see. Was it L one? It is L one. That's weird. So they put the R1 what where R2 used to be. So this is R2. Because you know when you're using the controller, your R2 is with your middle finger. They're, they put the R2 on here. So I guess when you use this controller, it switches. And there is no D-pad though. I didn't see any D-pad. Uh, the PlayStation button is clickable again. Let's see. Looks dusty already. I wonder if somebody opened this. This is the options button. So that's cool. Can't wait to try it out. Anyway, that's it. That's uh, unboxing. Let's see how we actually slot it back in if it fits. And this is the right. Guess like that. No. Like this. No. How do you fit this thing? Like that? No. Oh, okay. So you face it like this. Okay. 
tell it like this. No. There we go. Okay, so that's how it fits. Okay. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about the important one. So, the headset. Okay, so we'll take a look at the headset. Okay. So, this is oh, something spongier. What is that? end up dropping it okay that's a a lot amount of uh, cover like cover paper whatever you call it okay so here's the headset it looks there's some dirt on it what is that crap yeah there's some crap on it anyway cool so that those look like cameras that is amazing. And let's see if it shakes. Yeah, it does shake. Are those on gimbals? Wait, wait, wait. Or am I seeing things? I might be seeing things. Let's see if... Uh... No, it's just matte. Um, there's no X's and squares. Triangle circles on it. So you got four cameras. I guess that's to see the room. It says Sony on there. You see that? There's something that says Sony in there. Uh, top is hard. This is how you turn it on, if I remember correctly, with based on the PlayStation VR one. I'm guessing that is volume controls, maybe. No, something's moving. It's moving. Maybe the viewfinder or something. Okay. It's really light. It's nice and light. Uh, possibly lighter than the PlayStation VR. Uh, something's nagging. Oops. So it's very light. First thing I noticed compared to the PlayStation VR 1. It still has like that. Oh, what the heck did I do? This needs to go down there. There we go. Okay. Soft, something soft here. Ooh, cushiony. Very cushiony right here. Okay, so it feels like rubbery. It does have the, that um, X's and squares. You see that? Square X triangle, so that's cool. This is how you adjust the headset, just like in uh, PlayStation VR 1. Um, this is solid. This top right here, solid. This one is uh, spongy. Not spongy, but you know. Very soft. This is where you put the, the earpiece. When you're done with it, you hide it here. Just like the, the original one. That's where you slot in the... The... Uh, earpiece uh, the 3.5 millimeter jack and this is where the other holder is you plug it in there and it stays so just like the PlayStation VR 1 I'm trying to get rid of the stupid thing it's in the way okay oh wow look at the lenses it looks so much nicer than the PSVR 1. So that's cool. And it looks like this thing is a lot softer. Look at that. It's nice and soft. It's way softer than, than the top part. Really soft. That's one of the things I didn't like with the PSVR 1. But the problem with this, it does collect a lot of dust. You see all that white crap already? That's from the box and it's sticking to it. Uh, it's some sort of silicon. It's really soft, so that helps like 
um, keep your head on, um, isolated, um, keep it dark so you only see the front. So I can't wait to test this out. Anyway, that's it. A little short video of uh, an unboxing video of the PlayStation VR. I'm really curious, like, um, if it's gonna give me severe motion sickness, like the PlayStation, uh, the PSVR one did. When I'm I'm playing like, um, what do you call it, Arizona Sunshine, that gave me like severe um, motion sickness. Hopefully this one does not, and yeah. Anyway, uh, post any comments or questions in the comment sections. I'll see if I can answer them. There's some weird holes. Are those vents? Those look like vents. It's kind of open. I wonder if it stretches out. Hmm, let's see. I wonder if there's like... I don't see a button where you can like pull, pull it or push it. Or is this it? You push and pull? No, that doesn't feel like it. Because I remember in the PlayStation VR 1, you, you push something and you can adjust the headset. Or do you just pull this? Maybe you just pull it. I don't see a, a band. I don't want to... Yeah. I'm putting strength into this. It's not pushing. So maybe you have to press something in order to to pull it. Yeah, you see all that that um, stuff coming from the, the box and sticking to the PSVR. This is like a dust magnet. Yeah. Hopefully it's uh, washable because um, I used to wash my PSVR 1 uh, like the this part of the PSVR 1. I, I take it out and then uh, I wash it off to clean up, clean it up. Hopefully I can do the same with the PSVR 2. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, whatever. I'll see you guys later.